From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report. Welcome to the Homeland Security Weekly Report. I'm David Jones. The German intelligence services have credible information according to which Turkey is headed towards its own nuclear bomb. This is revealed in an interview with a former senior German defense ministry official, Hans Ruhl, who served in the ministry in a high-ranking position. He claims we have reliable information that Erdogan's nuclear ambitions are real and that while the world is endlessly talking about Iran and North Korea's nuclear programs, we might be witnessing the nuclear experiment in the Middle East, which will be carried out by Turkey rather than by Iran. Gamers targeting Apache helicopter simulators belonging to the US Army hacked into an army network. Federal officials have indicted Xbox Underground, a group of 20-something-year-old players, of accessing an army computer system for two months in late 2012. The gamers allegedly entered the army simulator via a hack at Zombie Studios, a game developer that was working with the military service on flight simulation software to train Apache helicopter pilots. The initial strikes against the Islamic State in Syria included missiles fired from overhead drones by operators who were hundreds or even thousands of miles away. This method of warfare has developed since the first use of armed drones just over 10 years ago to being an integral part of the United States arsenal. President Obama announced the drone strike operations to be carried out primarily by the military rather than other government agencies. Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI, unveiled its new CIMS, Counter Improvised Explosive Devices and Mine Suite, an integrated suite of sensors for protection of tactical maneuvering vehicles. Although mines and IEDs are hardly new, the use of these devices has become a matter of concern for modern armies, both in conventional and asymmetric warfare. The CIMS suite was designed under the premise that no one sensor can provide the adequate probability of detection and low false alarm rate required by today's operational needs. With funding shrinking in many sectors of law enforcement, agencies are searching for new ways to operate affordably while maintaining quality standards. With federal budget shrinking, there are simply too many challenges which would not allow for police budgeting as usual. Real-time data will be fed back to the officers, linking them to a greater group of operatives with a broader skill set and ability. They are getting better at procuring technology that can deliver capabilities they didn't have before, said Robert Davis, Director of Research at the Police Executive Research Forum. Thank you for watching our weekly report. See you at the same time, same place, next week. And for further information, please click the link below.